everyone, this is Donna from MadamazelVanilla.com and I'm going to show you how I make my go-to gum paste recipe. When I was still a confectionery art student at Bonnie Gordon College, my instructor Julie Montgomery introduced me to this wonderful recipe and I have been hooked since then. So today I'm going to show you how I make it. It's super simple and this is what I use for most of my sugar flowers in my wedding cake. For the recipe, it's in the description box below and it will link you directly to Nicholas Lodge Gumby's wonderful recipe. So let's get started! First, I need to measure 125 grams of egg white. I'll use a paddle attachment to beat the egg whites until bubbly and frothy. I sometimes put it on high speed setting to speed things up. Something like this. Once that's done, I'm gonna add my pre-sifted 800 grams of icing sugar into my mixing bowl. I usually pause it halfway to scrape off sugar that hasn't been mixing properly. And I use this plastic bench scraper as it is more solid than a regular spatula. I'll put it back up on low setting until sugar is incorporated. Continue beating until the consistency is somewhat like a soft peak royal icing in the making. About 2 minutes. I'll start adding 7 teaspoons of tylose to the mixture up to a maximum of 11 teaspoons altogether. But I usually just stop at 8 to 9 teaspoons because I want to be able to knead my paste easily and I don't want it to dry too fast. I like to grease my work area with the vegetable shortening before I scrape off my gum paste mixture onto it. And I also apply vegetable shortening to my hands so it won't stick. Start kneading until everything comes together. I'm gonna cut it in half so it is easy to manage. And then roll into a log, cut in small pieces, and wrap it individually in a plastic wrap before storing. Also, a little tip, I like to swirl a small amount of pre-boiled water to my mixing bowl where I have tiny bits of gum paste mixer left. I just scrape it off and pour in a small plastic container. And this can be used as gum glue. So here it is, my go-to sugar gum paste recipe and the finished sugar flowers using these babies will be on the next slide. Enjoy! If you like this video, please hit like, subscribe, and comment below. Thank you!